And hello again, everybody. Yeah, welcome to another album review. Introduce yourself. My name's John. I'm a uh, radio DJ. Got a couple of uh, radio shows. The BCFM Sunday Rock Show on 93.2 FM. BCFM Radio Bristol. Goes out every Sunday night. And uh, every Saturday morning, you can hear me on Rock Radio UK um, with the uh, Rock Druid Show. Um, yeah, and these videos are just me kind of either talking about a new release or... In this case, something that I've just been playing in the week that I thought I'd like to talk about. And uh, this week, I'm going to talk to you about this. This is In the Name of Metal by Bloodbound. Autographed copy, as you can see here. Anyway, there's the front. It folds out like that. There's nothing much behind the disc, but there's the inside of the fold-out. If I whip this out, um, oh yeah, AFM Records, the little kind of catalogue from what was coming out back then. Let's have a look, they've got stuff out from Master Plan, um, Gamma Bomb, Ectomorph, uh, Leaves Eyes, oh this is really good stuff. Avantasia, Burning Point, uh, Octane. Oh, yeah. Well, the stuff that's right up my metal street. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is a booklet. Lyrics mainly. Band photos. Loving the artwork on it and uh, credits etc now have you ever been to a gig where the support band's gone come on and you've never really heard much about them before maybe just the name and they play and you end up going bloody hell and uh you know before you know it they finish the set and you're at the merch stand buying something for theirs this is a case in point. Went to see um, Sabaton. Um, a double headlining tour with uh, the legendary Aylstone. Um I was there on business, actually. I was interviewing that, uh, both Sabaton and Aylstone for the radio. But um, interviews done, I wandered out to see the opening act because I'd heard the name. Bloodbound came on and, oh, God, because I'd blown away. Um absolutely superb you only did about half hour but it was half hour of some of the great kind of um serious yet slightly tongue-in-cheek old school power metal um yeah they were swedish which uh didn't surprise me because um it's that kind of music that the swedes do very very well and uh at the end of their set i was there banging and they finished up with a track called in the name of metal in the name of metal, lift your fists to the music we love, etc. And, um, you know, <coughs> I was sold. I was there. Um, I had some money to buy some, uh, buy myself a Sabaton t-shirt. Spent it on a couple of Bloodbound albums instead. Yeah, I could go see Sabaton again. You'd, Bloodbound are one of these bands that they kind of, unless you put cash and support in someone, you're not really going to find a tour in the UK. But anyway, um, been a huge, huge fan ever since. And for me, this was the album that opened it up for me. Um, absolute corker. So the opening cut is the aforementioned in the name of metal. Um, real air punching album that kind of, basically it's kind of that's what heavy metal is about heavy metal is party music heavy metal is kind of it's kind of music of a of a brotherhood i know i'm talking cliche here but um believe me i've been a bit of a metalhead since i was about 15 so you know i've grown up with it it's in the soul and that song is just sums it up completely other highlights on here monster mind storming track uh bone breaker metalheads unite another one for the old, you know, Dio Horns there, the Black Devils, um, the Books of the Dead, 
fallen from grace when the demons collide. It's a just a storming metal album. There is no two ways about it. This should be in the record racks of every discerning metalhead anywhere in the world. Why Bloodbound aren't one of the biggest names in metal, I do not know. Um, although I look upon it as one of my unofficial tasks in life to kind of make sure that the flag for Bloodbound is flown high at every opportunity. Um, they got a couple of albums. When did this one album come out? Uh, 2012 this came out. They've got a fair few albums out since then, all of which are worth checking out. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, Towers in the North, I think, is their latest one. But anyway, AFM Records, Bloodbound, uh, in the name of metal, an absolute classic in my opinion. Go check it out.